Our top story, the race to remove abandoned boats sunk off Bradenton Beach during recent tropical storms is close to the finish line. Law enforcement agencies have been working for more than a year to remove the safety hazards and eyesores. ABC 7's Adam Cellini shows us just how much longer it will take before they are all removed. Well, 2016 was an active storm season and expensive for places like Bradenton Beach who have to remove sunken boats from their waters. But the good news is there are only three of those boats left and they should be out by the end of the month. It's a beautiful area and uh, it seems like uh, they detract from the beauty. Dick Graham has spent nearly 20 winters in Bradenton Beach, some days fishing along the pier, where each year he sees a new boat submerged in the tide. The quicker that it can be cleaned up, the better it will be for the for the community. Lieutenant John Cosby of the Bradenton Beach Police Department agrees and has been working hard to do so. The boats have been tagged, the owners given a period of time to come forward and claim the property, and now the process is in the final stages. The boats have been posted and all we're waiting for now is for our vendor to come and then haul them away and then what we do is we um, submit a reimbursement uh, to the county. That reimbursement comes from the West Coast Inland Navigation District Fund, which serves four counties, including Manatee. Soon a contractor will come out and salvage what he can from the boats and dispose of the rest. I'm hoping that they'll have them out by the end of next week. The city of Bradenton Beach is working on several options to increase police patrols out here in the waters and hold some of the boaters responsible for that property if it does, in fact, go underwater. In Bradenton Beach, Adam Cellini. ABC 7, your Suncoast News.